uh, Phoebe and Sasha, thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on a second season. Thank you. Uh, thank it's you. such it's such a wonderful mess this the series for the great and, and both of your characters. I I feel for them at times because <laughs> uh, while while in different positions, you guys are allies to the crown and, and the new crown and. Uh, it, it's uh it's it's so fun watching you you guys having to do your jobs uh orlo let's start with orlo a little bit because um he's he's trying to, he tries to do things a certain way the right way and steer her the right direction but you know it doesn't always work out that way what can we expect from him this season you know just in what you were saying then i was like it, it, it's it's exhausting <laughs> orlo because i was just uh, we were chatting before the minute he leaves his apartment there's so much stuff happening and he's got to kind of, he's got to be on it. He's got to be so switched on because things change. So last minute. And even though he's trying to make Russia great again and fight for the cause, he's got his own agenda as well, which we'll see in season two. Um, You know, this huge life changing moment with Catherine now in power, you know, initially it's, it's exciting. We can make Russia great again, but it brings a completely different set of challenges which, are, which is really going to test his relationship with Catherine and also his loyalty to her as well. Because we'll see that now with his newly found status, because this guy, he can control the treasury. He's got access to a lot of money and people want access to the pie. <laughs> they want a piece of the pie. And so we'll see his family as well. So he kind of has to weigh up his priorities and you'll see him make decisions which you never expect someone like Orlo to make. It was, it was, it was really fun to play and unexpected for me as well. Uh, Phoebe, for you, Mary, Mary, all really dodged a bullet there, but uh, hey, she ended up, she ended up on the, on, on the right side of the bed, I guess. Uh, mm-hmm. Tell me what we can expect from her in, in season two. Yeah, man, she's a survivor. You know, she is, um, you know, her moral compass is really skewed, I guess, but um you know, when the atomic bomb goes off, Mario will survive. Like, you better believe that she will have found that underground bunker and she will be sleeping with whoever owns it. You know, 100%. (laughs) Um, But, you know, I think part of season two is Mario getting to enjoy her newfound status and really gloating in it and um, enjoying all the things that come with it. But, uh, you know, it is also tenuous. Like you say, she, you know, she dodged a bullet and you see that her, she's still grappling with that decision and still hustling to keep herself there. And whether that's from, you know, uh, defending Archie and, you know, trying to keep him in power because that also benefits her to, um, you know, uh keeping on Catherine's good side and yeah she's um she's scrappy and she yeah you can I, see me yeah I think scrappy is a good word because I think what I really like about her is she doesn't hold back her honesty to Catherine we see that very early on and yeah. and you know some of the outfits that she picks out for her and or that <laughs> she wants to wear and then and then also yeah. in, in just advising her as a friend so it seems like yeah she went through some things and made some difficult choices, but in the end, she's going to do the, do the job at the best way possible, even if it means punching some girls in the gut. Yeah, <laughs> she fun. enjoys, right? You know, yeah. excuse. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. And then, uh, Orlo, I think one of my favorite early scenes is, is when you guys are going through all the nobles and somebody walks in and immediately gets stabbed. And they're <laughs> like, you know what? We haven't talked about that. Yeah, <laughs> and, but it was something that was supposed to, you guys were supposed to tell her. But it's it's uh it's all these little great moments that I think it's, it's speaking with uh, Gwendolyn and Bio earlier. You mix you know modern themes, but with this kind of classic, old school well of of period of time in Russia. Uh, can you guys talk about that mixture of, of genres and and maybe how fun it is to play in that sandbox? It was it was great what you're just saying about that scene. I uh, when I first read it, uh, I, I loved it because <laughs> I was hoping, you know, from season one when Orlo is starting to find himself, I was like, I hope this continues. <laughs> and what's great is he can he's got the confidence to stand in 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 court and make those decisions. 
to say we, we need to eradicate this guy and uh, it's it's really it's really funny as well but it also shows that there's this there's immediate tension between mm -hmm. him and Catherine as well they've got differences of opinion i think initially they're just like yeah this is gonna work and we're gonna make russia great again but he goes behind her back and does thing he kind of undermines her a little bit i think that they need to kind of go through this to kind of figure out where the two should meet um so yeah it's a really really interesting um journey to 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 play to play this year definitely yeah absolutely it's, a, it's such a fun show i, I think overall just something different that we, we don't get to see a lot of times a lot of times these series are so serious especially when it's a period piece so it's a really a breath of fresh air and, and congratulations again on being able to do a second season hopefully we we get to see a little bit more uh it was really nice to meet you both and thank you for talking with me today nice to meet you take care